Hey, what's up everyone? This is Derek from Hoplite. Today I wanted to break down the design of this puck. We're gonna take it apart. We're gonna talk about all the engineering and the design and why we think the design uh, that we've come up with is gonna lead to a better play. So um, if you, it's gonna be a lot of physics, uh, a lot of engineering. If you don't wanna go through all that and just wanna try out the puck and say, hey, uh, we tried it and it actually works better. We don't care why. Uh, feel free to check out the link below, get yourself a puck uh, and let us know how uh, uh, the playing experience is. The first part I want to break down with you guys is the glide pins. For those who don't know the glide pins, they're these little white things along the outside. Uh, you'll see them in a lot of different pucks. Um, you know, one of the key components of our of our puck is finding the right material to make the glide pin out of. So we've actually been looking for a, a material that's going to slide really, really well. Um, we think we've done that. If you haven't checked out the glide test, you can check that out. Um, but one of the other key parts that you may not know, besides the material, is also the way it's designed. So you can see here that we have more glide pins touching the surface, um, which a lot of people believe that's going to slow down the play of the puck. That's that's absolutely not true whatsoever. Um, actually, by having more of these on the surface, what it'll allow for is it will uh, reduce the amount of wear and tear on the glide pins. And we really feel like we're gonna have one of the most durable pucks on the market. Uh, the other thing that you'll notice um, is that we place our glide pins as far to the edge as possible. And so one of that things what it'll do is it'll help rolling with the puck. So when the puck is on edge and it's rolling, if it's gonna hit the, if, if the glide pins are all the way to the edge of the surface, it'll come in contact with the playing surface fast, or faster, I should say. And so what it'll do is when it lands, it'll, it'll glide smoothly rather than landing on its side, it's gonna, it's gonna roll over. The next piece of the puck that I want to talk about is the gyroscope. It is the uh, most fascinating and unique thing about our puck. It's actually patented. No one else can have this design. So what I'm going to do actually real briefly is I'm just going to open this puck up. Obviously, uh, this puck is not molded together, so it, it opens, but uh, yours at home will not. Um, and I want to talk to you a little bit about this middle piece here, which is, uh, I'll get a close-up shot of this, but it essentially spins within the puck. And so, um, one of the things that works with it, I think the best thing to do without getting into too much physics, if you have a fidget spinner, um, besides them being annoying, uh, they do help prove a, a good physics lesson. So if you take it and you spin it here and you kind of move it each way, you'll feel this force uh, working against you. And so what that is really doing is that's trying, this wants to keep spinning and laying flat. So we actually do the same exact thing with our hockey puck um, and we have this gyroscope in the middle that spins. Um, and actually you may not understand or may not realize that actually when you pass or you shoot, you put spin on the puck. Um, and so what'll happen is this'll activate naturally um, and start spinning as the puck is spinning. Um, and what'll happen is obviously when it, when it lands, no saucer pass, no matter how good you are, is gonna land perfectly flat on the surface. It's usually gonna land a little bit each way, just maybe a little bit. Um, and so that spinning gyroscope in the middle, when it lands, it's gonna say, I don't wanna move any other direction. Uh, I don't wanna bounce up or, or bounce to the side. I wanna keep going flat. And so when it lands, it'll help bring that puck uh, back to flat. And so that'll help with skipping, that'll help with rolling. Obviously, um, you know, it's not gonna prevent everything, but it definitely will help for the, those of you who are working still a little bit on your saucer passes, uh, it, it'll help. So that's one of the fascinating pieces. It's, it's like I said, uh, I'll get a couple close-up shots of it here, uh, but it's, it's, it's what makes our puck so unique on the marketplace. And um, it sits in there nice and tight, so you can't really feel it when you're stick handling. You'd have to take it open and really take a look at it. The last magical piece of our puck that I want to bring uh, attention to are the inertia pins. So the inertia pins actually live within the gyroscope here. So I'm going to take this apart here. We get close up here. These little pins right in here. Um, they really serve two purposes. Uh, one is to help start and stop uh, the gyroscope when you are uh, putting spin on the puck when you pass. And the other is whenever this is uh, gonna be you know, hit and it's uneven or it's on tilt, 
um, the pins will actually absorb energy and help uh, that energy not go through the whole puck and account, uh, help it prevent it from, from bouncing. So um, a lot of the older pucks actually, believe it or not, used to have like rice in them um, or other little things to help absorb some of the energy. Problem with rice, obviously, it disappears over time as it erodes. Um, so yeah, these, this is a really, really um, generic uh, conversation around the puck design. Uh, our, our engineer, Doug, would probably uh, kill me because he spent four years making this puck and there's a lot of science and engineering going to it. We might post a more detailed for those who are really, really uh, into physics and, and really want to know, uh, we'll, we'll write a nice descriptive post. But I thought a nice video would just help you guys understand a little bit more about the puck. Uh, again, we would love for everyone to try it. Give us your feedback. See that, um, you know, it really does make a difference. We've had great reviews so far. But uh, before we move to production, we really want to get as many people playing with the puck uh, as possible. So um, if you haven't had an opportunity, click the link below. Get started. Uh, let us also know any comments or questions uh, that you may have that I may not have explained. Uh, and look for some more videos. Thanks.